All right, so we're going to talk about the placements and where our ads will actually show. As Facebook labels, show your ads to the right people in the right places. Now, they're going to, as you can see, automatically suggest places for it to be, uh, your ads to be shown, essentially. So as you can see, it's recommended. But the problem with that is, well, several problems, essentially. Here we go. Right here. So with what we're doing, we want our ads to be shown in the actual news feeds, right? As you can see, it is the news feed section where it is seen on mobile and desktop. And when you go on Instagram, it's going to be seen on mobile, but not desktop. It doesn't matter. But the whole point is this. This is a whole different type of platform, a different type of audience doing different types of things. I'm not saying that this would not work, but for what we're doing and how we're doing it, we, we don't want Instagram. So we only want our ads to show in the feeds. So we'll uncheck Instagram. And from here, we will notice a couple different things that we can do in addition to this. Now, most of our ads are going to come from mobile devices. So you can let your campaign go through and show on mobile and desktop which is what I recommend because there are still people that utilize desktop. And in addition to that, when we get into creating the ad, you'll be able to see the difference on how the ad is read from a desktop version compared to a mobile version. So I like to let both of them run side by side. And when I mean both of them is everything, all devices, right? not just mobile or just desktop. You can come through if you wanted to, to do a mobile only, and, or you could come through and do desktop only. Now, when you go through and do this, keep an eye on your audience. Now, you know, audience is critical in certain circumstances. Right here, it's a big number because essentially, I'm targeting the whole US on this particular one, but just, just keep an eye on this when you actually go through and make these adjustments, just so that you're aware, hey, you know, it is only going from maybe 9,000 people to less than 1,000. And the reason I say that once it kind of gets into the less than 1,000 area, you're going to pay more than you would with a bigger audience. And the reason is because of the ad delivery and the rotation. So just kind of keep that in mind. It's not, don't let that be a fear. I mean, obviously if you're targeting and stacking your audience, like we want them to, uh, you know, essentially the people we want to target, then even if you only have a less than a thousand person audience, it is what it is. I mean, that's who your audience is and you know who you're going for. So I, don't let that be a fear because some people say, Hey, you know, I have less than 5,000 people or 20,000 people. Should I, should I go for them? Well, if that's your audience size, then let it be. So essentially one thing that I do like to test with, and this is just a test. We'll get into testing on some of the later videos, but one thing that's pretty neat is when people are on their mobile phone, we can actually target them when they're connected to Wi-Fi. So you just keep that in mind, right? So there'd be different scenarios when people are not connected to their Wi-Fi, right? Maybe they're out in a public area, the mall or a restaurant, and they are not connected to Wi-Fi. So maybe their scenario on what they're doing in their environment is a little different, right? So they might be moving around and kind of not necessarily not paying attention to Facebook, right? Cause they are somewhat, it's just, they might not be paying attention to your ads. <laughs> so this is something I like to experiment with and something to keep in mind. In addition to, 
if you already know that you have users on a certain type of platform, obviously targeting them is something helpful too. It's just something else to look into when you're breaking down actual results and audience information within the uh, back end of Facebook. And we'll go over that in some of our videos later on too. So for the moment, that is this, and we will see you in the next one.